All right. So um, we have spoken about market structure and market that has practically market structure basics. And now I want to actually go into uh, market structure and then change of character. I spoke about trends. Okay. So uh, let's just go straight to the point. So um, internal market structure is basically a higher time frame narrative. Um, when we go back to the daily time frame, we can see price is just basically a one impulsive move to the upside. Um, and it changed trend from this particular place, right? So the next possible thing you are looking for is maybe price to actually um, come give you a pullback and go to the upside. But what we can he see practically from here is that price hasn't actually obviously taken the high of this particular place. So hence, it makes this place particular, um, probably an invalid um, MSA breakout structure. So we just take this whole thing as an impulse and a correction. So the next thing you should be looking for should be a pullback to uh, uh, should be this should, this is a pullback and this should be um an impulse to the downside or probably an expansion right so off of off of this one off of this one we understand how price moves so you can see on the daily time frame price is just basically impulse correction then just straightforward to the upside okay there is no kind of patches you don't see any kind of thing i i probably um as i know uh, how price structure works i can probably pinpoint where there is a low basically like just this one like this this is a low and this is a high a lower low a higher high a lower low uh, sorry um basically higher highs and higher low instead this are uh, um, a higher low and a higher high just like that a high a low a high a low a high then a low a high then just basically like that okay so when we go to the lower time frame, that's basically what we see so let's shift to the um for our time frame so we talk about the um what do you call it the structure when, we, when it comes to um market structure right so this is actually internal structure breaks and we are going to talk about change of character so um as i say as our earlier video sp uh, speaks about so basically um change of character is basically uh or as we talk about internal structure right so internal structure as i mentioned the other one i mean i spoke about price actually going to the upside and all of a sudden just start creating lower lows couple of well, lower lows and you think so the fact that it doesn't break in the low this low here it is not actually um, a change of trend so price starts continuing this way that actually shows you that price was just actually messing up with your brain right so hence you should be looking forward to not being deceived by this kind of structure that happens most of the time so um, when you check price structure like this so we have we do have price structures we have high low um, a higher high then a lower low just like that so on the other point of it is that in in, in an impulse like this you are going to see a, a, a whole different thing right so in, the, in an impulse you're going to see something like a high a low a high a low just a small higher highs and a higher low that is being created right so you are basically not going to see it on the high time frame because it is actually not I, I i will not say it is a thing for you to see it on the higher time frame because the higher time frame as we all know is basically fooled uh with just bigger candles and you will not be able to see this right so uh in most cases you are always advised to you know when you are when you want to actually understand something better um, it's better to always go to the lower time frame to just see it clearly for yourself right so instead of you know um being on the high time frame and thinking the narrative is basically perfect okay so this is what happens right same thing applies to um uh the expansion so like this one too for instance it is also going to be just in this form um just like this right so that is what you're basically going to see okay um this one i'm i'm, I'm basically looking for so that is basically what happens most of the time right so you're always supposed to know that price is not going to actually always going to be a picture perfect in us as i've always explained right so that is this is how it's going to be let me shift it in a sense that you'll be able to see it clearly so let's put the circle here and the trend will be inside of here right So now in this place shows where the chalk is actually going to be that's a change of character right 
So the change of character is always going to be what you are going to look for to know that price has changed uh, structure in the lower time frame. So hence the change of character is always what uh, we all look for, right? So it is going to, as it has started creating lower lows and lower highs, price then breaks to the upside, uh, then goes to the then it changes character. Then you are now looking for an opportunity to go to the upside. So this is basically how the change of character is going to look like, right? So then it just represented by your um, structure. This is actually it like this. And just that way. So then we are expecting price to go to the upside. Okay. Just like that, right? So let me just put this also in a circle. Um, just so you know. All right. So this is basically the whole thing that we have always been talking about. So let me just give a level. So right right now we have um, our impulse here, right? So we have our impulse, impulse, other people call it expansion, and a whole lot of names. So it has a lot of names actually, and let me rename this, um, let me do this, let me put it there there is nothing inside and the thickness of it okay so let's make the tax wrap no okay just something like this um i think something like this is okay for me uh, i wish i could get a minimum one so that it's not be that kind of um price label okay let's see how this one looks all right, um, th this is kind of too short for me. Okay, so no, no, no issues with that. So I'm just basically going to make it let's make it a wrap. Okay, then we have it this way. All right. So we have this as our expansion okay impulse all an expansion then we have um, our correction or a retraction okay so in, in any way you call it it is still valid all right so it is basically correction um made the first letter capital correction slash retraction and just like that okay so then we have this right here now showing us that this is actually our retraction or better still you can call this the retraction okay so this is basically how it now goes to the outside so and and in full view how you see it is basically um, let me just name this so that you know it is internal structure internal structure so what basically happens right here so in the internal structure price actually moves in this way so this is how price moves right so it gives smaller highs smaller higher highs smaller lower lows smaller higher highs smaller lower lows then it changes character right so it changes character start going start going the other way around right just like this then changes character again so and also you will be going through structure shifts and all those stuff so price then goes this way so this is basically how price actually looks like um, when we look at from so let's just say from this place to this place yeah I'm leaving this one out right um, my network is trying to disrupt my my um, my recording okay all right we are back to normal so it is it is basically it is basically this one that is always uh, so I'm, I mean I'm just going to take this one out for example right and focus on this one the impulse correction impulse so you can see this one also have impulse correction impulse but on the high side you can see we have higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows price broke structure here giving us a change of character so the change of character basically means that price is price has shifted structure in the lower time frames okay so in this sense that same thing happened here but in this one you see that price 
actually gave a high and a low. So price didn't shift structure, but rather a uh, price shifted in structure, but was not strong enough to be convinced. So you always wait for price break of structure from here. So I deliberately did this to show you that price sometimes can deceive you thinking that that shifted structure. When price is pulling down to the downside, higher highs, um, lower lows and lower highs, and you see something like price has started giving a higher high, it doesn't necessarily mean price has shifted in structure because until this one is broken, price hasn't shifted. But if it is not broken and continue going to the downside, price will just actually go into get a more momentum too and also um, create liquidity for itself. So like I mentioned in the previous videos, when there is no liquidity, price creates its own liquidity just to suck people's money, right? So that is basically what happens. Uh, every uh, the, Those controlling the market are basically normal people like us. So this is what they do to make a uh, majority get us into the game and actually suck our blood, right? You understand what I mean, okay? So this this happens in a sense that they they practically take our money and it, it becomes this, right? It, it, it becomes this. So that is basically what happens, right? So um, it, they are not going to take it um, illegally and you say, yeah, they are stolen your money. They take it legally, okay? In a sense, you think your money is still available, right? So, and for us to follow the money, and as we know, we are always going to follow the money. So as price structures, we are following liquidity, we are following um, similar structures and, and pulling the, the footprints of the market makers, actually called the composite man as Wyckoff Steady says. We'll also be looking at Wyckoff Steady to help us elevate in some of these things, right? So now, so now that we have all this stuff ready, um, we actually know the uh, price structure and how it actually moves. So this is how it moves in the lower range time frame and this is how this particular place changes structure. This is how this one actually uh, looks like on the lower time frame. This is how this one looks like on the lower time frame too as well. So that same thing I showed you from the daily time frame and then we are now, we are now back on the um, down downtrend actually. Okay. So now let's look into normal structure. So now what you can see from here, price has also created that same thing. But when you go to the daily time frame, um, it shows you a different narrative. Okay. You can see on the daily time frame, you see it's one impulsive move. Okay. But then like, when we go to the four hour time frame, price shows you a different thing altogether. So price shows you um, just what I spoke about high a low so you can see this one it didn't break the high uh, the low okay so um and that's already started creating higher uh, lower lows and lower highs in internal structure so he started creating it on its own just the same thing as this one and it has not also broken structure so hence this one too was also protected right so this is what happens for them to lure you into thinking you are um, um, shifting structure so you can see how this one swept liquidity nicely and you can see this one think you would think you are actually in the right direction you take a trade and then finally boom you are stopped out going back to the upside so that is actually what happens right so now you can see now we have a low and a high right so let's just pick this as one of the, the lows of this one combine it just to save time and we have a higher high and a lower low so price has basically started creating structures going to the upside on the um, lower time frames of the daily time frame right so uh, that is what happens so for you not to get confused okay for you not to get confused this this basically you can label this as the daily time frame or let's say the higher time frame right so this is the higher time frame narrative and this is the lower time frame narrative all these ones are the lower time time frame narrative so let me just write here lower time frame narrative so um the full meaning of etf is higher time frame i just as you can hear them from a mouth higher time frame so this is basically lower time frame changing trend okay all this is just basically lower time frame change in trend right so it all is it's, 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 it's now looking like some kind of ponzi scheme you can you can see how it is the higher time frame is not seen clearly the lower thing so just like our politicians let me take ghana my country for instance right i'm not exposing this to the world for those of you who are not africans or for, for those of you who are not Ghanaians, right and it is it is a big thing for um the Ghanaians. we, we see it as normal because it's, it's possibly not a good thing right Excuse me, this is a disclaimer. This is for educational purposes. Just explaining how things work. If um, you find this irritating, please don't report me. I am not. Um, I, I'm not actually um, a, 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 what do you call it, a journalist, so don't. I don't have any license to defend myself, right? But when you look at the economic crisis of our country right now, um, what is happening? The the, the the political leaders are actually sucking the money into their possession because they know now that there is um, an inflation they are going to take that opportunity to suck the money and in at the end of the day they say it is actually being spent on what on the country so that that is what basically just says inside here so you are seeing one impulsive move 
or when you enter with your small money right here it will come back stop uh, drain your whole money and go to the upside but when you know this movement and you know this movement you are entering with what is a small amount of cash so i know that um you, you can even enter with big cash because you know on this lower time this is what is happening so when you enter here you know where to hold it up to and you come out right so i was just using the government uh, as an escape good to actually explain some of the things but yeah so um nothing else um sorry my president sorry my country all right now let's go into uh, basically uh, there's corrupt politicians everywhere so um we shouldn't be afraid of that though okay now now we know we know this this is how this uh, actually works so as this has started and for you to see chalk on the lower lower time frame right so let me show you how chalk looks like so now we have our high right here so we have our high and our low right nicely created okay or you can take this as our low because that was the low that created the week that game didn't break it so let's say this this was our low and this was liquidity let's just put it that way so in this situation we are looking for the next impulsive move to the upside but um we haven't seen any confirmation yet so we don't know if this will actually break this before anything or else or not so now we know this is our potential low and this is our potential and this is our potential high right and this is the next high because the next uh the depth it has started pulling back right so now we know this um now let's play prep um just play price forward right um let me just take this candle and label it as uh range high mm. all right so let's do this um range high okay and we have the other one as the range low right so i am labeling this to just make sure you understand so that we can go through with it smoothly without thinking so range low right so now so this is basically our new range high and this is basically our new range low so let's play price forward okay so and in this case price has basically broken the range low right so now giving us the chalk that i was talking about this particular one right this particular one so now we have price creating this particular one right here i am representing it with a red candle right so price has created this particular one okay on the lower time frames so for you to see clearly this is what it has created right so if if you want to see it on the um uh, what do you call it lower time uh, let me see uh a line chart this is how it should look like right so this is how it look like on the lower time frame just you can see how similar it looks on the lower time frame so that's basically how it creates so most of the times if you want to see price clearly you can just shift to the low so you can see a high a low a higher high then a lower low right so that is basically um the internal structure of a break of structure right so that is how it works okay and basically all what what this actually shows you is it gives you the the ideology that price has actually changed its direction on the what on the lower time frame so hence the higher time frame is going to what change its trend so if if you know this if you know this and you know price is changing its trend you are now ready for anything and you are ready to strike right um let's put this also so that i can use that to be teaching all right so now we know this is our new low we are now looking for our high right so and our high is not yet confirmed so hence uh, our low is not yet confirmed right so we are now waiting to see where it, just, it starts going down but you can just start approaching it and saying this is your low because the candle has closed if it is in the live market it is, it is, it is, it is not closed yet right you wait for the candlestick to close so um when it start pulling back that, that 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 means it becomes our our low right so now this has started pulling back so this becomes our new low right and you can see inside bars so i've not actually spoke about inside bars so it doesn't matter how big the candle is but this is actually an inside bar something like this so you can use for you to be able to identify inside bars for those of you to use in trading view you can actually check um you can come to this place indicators and you search inside bar right inside bar okay, you can just search inside bar and you can use just select any of them but mostly i will choose this one because that, that I, I think i have used it before right so it basically changes the color of um the candle so you can see how it has highlighted them so these are all inside bars 
so you can just uh for you to you can change the settings so me i can change it to um white right you can change it to white and you can see how this is i think the previous color was okay so let's just send it back so you can be able to identify inside bar with this bar with just using your normal eyes i can be able to identify inside bar so inside bar this this is an inside bar right so an inside bar is basically price that uh, it, it has not so you see it has uh, price has not been able to actually break out of it indecision so that's what they call the indecision candle right so the when indecision candle is found somewhere that is where price is likely going back to hit and then go back to the downside right so now this being our high we're now depicting our new low right so because we have our, our high already and uh, some people will now start looking for trees because this is a, this is a break of structure some people start looking for trees around this area and they'll just take their entry then price start tanking to the downside with inter inter uh, what, what do you call it internal structure right so that is basically how internal structure works and so um with the internal structure there is always uh some other uh, let me see uh, um th th there are always some schematics you need to take to follow it uh most of the times price can basically break just like this and still go back and break to the offside so it basically means that there was liquidity it created liquidity right here so how so mo most people don't actually uh take this that the, the um the change of character most people don't actually follow that one what they do see they just do know this is the change of character but they now wait for the next break of structure here then they take their their entry off of the uh, next entry so it can be anywhere from here you know from here so they are always sensitive to most of them so you see most of them are very sensitive to um directions so they take their trees my snapper entries and you will not be able to know how they did it so most of the time the is always done on the lower time frame i remember i posted a video on um, my youtube channel explaining this particular one um how i made 49 percent right that was one of the entry schematics that i took um if you see how i took it price went up created a small low then it worked it then went to the upside so now i sort of put that there was an opportunity to take this as a buy so hence price came down and just like that boom it started going to the upside so yeah all right now we know how price um the ranging works so let's play price forward uh, you can see how price has reached this particular inside bar right here and just like that it's tanked to the downside breaking structure okay so uh, basically what i can say is that the inside bar also uh it it actually helps you into taking trace that is actually an order block because this the last up move before the down move was because it was actually this candle but when you're going to refine the candle that actually uh, initiated the momentum and was able to cover the whole thing was this particular inside bar so you can see the inside bar perfectly aligns well with uh, this particular one and the when you're taking a trade off of this one it basically looks like this right so it basically looks just this way so this one you have 11 pips of entry and you can target uh the lows because that is basically where uh that that is basically the last low before price started pulling back right and in this way you have around 17 percent okay so now let's start playing, playing price forward so price just start shooting shooting doing this thing shooting and and also uh you need to know that those smaller smaller movements so this was a low broke structure and this was basically your high i guess this would have been your high right this would have been your high okay then this new high was created this new low so you can see price also started creating higher highs and higher lows inside this internal structure you might think price has changed direction but that is not the case so you can see how a high a high and a low just created and then price broke structure now given another change of character so you can basically wait for another entry around here practically off of this particular other block and it will start shooting to that so that's basically how internal structure range works with um so you can see as i mentioned the other block it tapped into it nicely and we should we are expecting the nice move to the downside right okay so that is basically internal structure all these movements are basically internal structure okay just internal structure showing you how it works when you want to see them clearly you see just look at them lines all over the blue line and see how it went up came down went under. just like that okay so um hope you guys enjoyed all of the video i'll make another video explaining other episodes and so yeah make sure if you don't understand these videos or my videos make sure you go back and re-watch them once again and i will explain them when you have our zoom session probably uh 
in our next zoom session yeah okay so see you guys in the other side